guys. Tanner Clark here from Self Healthcare Solutions. So today we're going to go over the CPM machine. So a CPM machine which stands for Continuous Passion Motion Device. Usually you'll get these machines when you're having surgery. Usually the surgeries you'll have with this is a total knee, sometimes ACL repairs, and uh, NUAs, which is manipulation under anesthesia. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to apply the pads to the CPM machine. These are sheepskin pads, sheep wool pads. Usually you will have this fitted to you prior to your surgery, but just in case that we were not able to get that, we will show you how to do it. Again. So this right here is the foot. How it is for the set. Just hold the hook part down, just where your foot can rest right on the CPU. Obviously, put that on first. On the smaller sheepskin pad, you have two different sizes. You have a bigger one, this one. The smaller one is going to be closer to the foot. So you would just attach to each rod. You got the bigger pad, usually the bottom straps right here, and then you'll need the very end of the CP. I especially like to put the pads on two different areas of the CPM where these hinges are because it is going to start bending whenever you are in this device. As you can see, these hinges I have them separate. It is okay to have a little bit of cushion here falling in, because as you will see, your foot is going to be higher, so you can really get that leg perfectly straight. We do have a thigh cuff right here. We can just attempt to slide under as so. I always like to put the aggressive part of the bump row down so it doesn't hook on it. Just come across, and you're done. And that is how you apply. The sheepskin pad the CPM machine device. This is going to be your controller. Each device has a switch located next to the power cord. As it does turn on, it does take a little while to load. So, extension is negative 10. We always want to keep that as negative 10. You always want to have the leg completely straight or as directed by your doctor whenever you are going. Uh, you can adjust the flexion and the extension just by clicking on these guys right here. As you can see, you have a guy that is bending his leg and a guy that has his leg completely straight. All you do is just press the button and then you can adjust the degrees on how you want your leg to be bending. Some doctors like to start off at 90 degrees when you first start. And this is how you'll change it over, or some will just have you go straight to 120. We'll do so as directed uh, by your physician. To start the device, all you have to do is push start. It does sometimes take a couple seconds to load. There is a little delay. And then your CPM will start to work. Other things to take note. The number right here that is constantly moving is the degree that you are currently at as the CPM is moving. 120 on the flexion is a completely bent knee. You also have a little rabbit here that adjusts the speed. You have five levels of speed. Five, four, three, two, one. You'll do so as you feel, uh, how the patient will feel when they are getting this device moved. The slower, the slower you go, the less painful sometimes, but or sometimes you can just go ahead and have it maxed out of time. For your preference, that is how you can control it. Now I'm going to show you how the patient should be fitted in, on the device, I mean the CPU. So, our patient Austin here just got his total knee done. Whenever you are getting fitting a patient into this CPM device, the key factors on how this CPM is supposed to work is his knee 
you see next to these hinges right here. This is where the brace bends. So that's where you need the knee. I'm trying to find his knee. His knee is a little up. It's about, about two inches above the hinges. So we want to go ahead and just have him scoot a little bit more forward. By adjusting these right here, these little dials will loosen up the CPM so where you can actually extend it out. So I'm going to have Austin come up a little more until he's nice and centered with the hinges. So as I see, he is pretty well centered. What I like to do, apply just a little pressure to the back of the, to the, back of the foot part of the CPM. Lock it in place. Now once we are locked in place, we go ahead and close the foot pad. Have him nice and secure. And then go ahead and secure him with the butt. As Austin is nice and fitted in the machine, as his leg is a little bit down, that's okay. It does come up pretty high in the patient, so that is totally normal. And then we just press start. He is good to go. You can sit back and relax and have him go. The patient will have the control, so he can do whatever he wants from slowing it down, speeding it up, working on the degrees, so on and so forth. So the average time you want to be in the CPM machine is about six hours. Do not want to sleep with this machine going while your leg is in it because it can be a very hazardous thing. You can end up injuring yourself, and that is not a good thing. You want to keep them safe. There's another way to measure this if the patient is just not able to get up on a table or down to the floor unless you are being fitted in this. And that is just going to be measuring the bottom of the patient's foot to the dead center of the knee. Sir, by doing this, we will describe your tape measure. I'll go ahead and measure the bottom of his foot. At zero, come up to the dead center of his knee. He's at 20. If he wasn't in this, I would put dead zero at the very end plate of the CPM, and the 20 should be directly in the center of the hinges. And that is how you can fit the patient in the CPM. All right, for some patients' anatomies, we may have to do some more adjustments just emphasize the lengthening of the um, CPM to get to the right to the knee. Some patients may have some uh, dorsal flexion issues where they can't fully have their foot all the way straight. You can adjust this with these two knobs right here. You can get as much as comfortable as possible for the patient, however they would feel. Just go ahead and set them in. Also, if the patient's foot is also contorting in, or contorting out, there is a knob over here that you can adjust to accommodate how the patient's foot will be. There's also another knob right here for the patient that is maybe perhaps too short or a little tall to get them into the CPM a little bit more. If the patient is taller, you can extend it more on both sides. So this will extend or shorten the patient's legs in the CPM. Great. And that is all the adjustments you have for CPM. All right, so this is one of our other models of the CPMs that we have. The control panel is a little different. It comes. Just like this, best way to access the control panel, just pull it right off. You have your extension settings, your flexion settings, and your speed adjustments. As we said, we don't ever really need to touch the extension, the extension settings unless directed by your physician. For the flexion, you can adjust as accordingly. You will do whatever the degree is uh, instructed by your physician. And then you have your speed. This just controls on how fast you want to get it moving. And then you want to close that once you have everything set. Then you have your start and stop button right here. The red button means you're supposed to start, which again is not. And that's how you work for our other CPM. All right, so we're going to go over the adjustments for the CPM. It's just like the previous one. The adjustments for the leg length, the knobs are right here, closer to the hinges part of the knee brace. Now you extend, shorten. You also have these knobs right here to help with the places uh, dorsal flexion and plantar flexion. However, they feel is most comfortable. 
Um, this helps with the patient's inversion extraction of the foot, however they feel more comfortable. And then off right here. Just help with the patients on how they can fit into the machine if they are shorter or taller. Pulling back for the taller patients. And going down for the short patients. And those are the adjustments for our CPM.